Male reproductive system. The male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes, accessory glands, and a system of ducts. Testes are the male reproductive organs and produce some spermatosa or sperms and also secrete the male sex hormone called testosterone. Sperms are the haploid male gametes. Inside each testis, several lobules are present. Each lobule has several tubules called semi inferior tubules. The epithelial cells lining these tubules are called germinal epithelium. They undergo large number of mitotic division and one mitotic division to produce spermatosa. The spermatosa are released into the lumen of the tubulo. The duct system consists of a vasa efferentia. They collect spermatosa from seminfurious tubules. Vasa efferentia continue as epidemies in which sperms are stored temporarily. From here, sperms are moved into a tubule called vas deferens and then into urethra. From urethra, a large number of sperms are expelled out of the body. Of this, only one sperm fertilizes the ovum and the rest degenerate. The accessory glands indulge one prostate gland, two semi vessels, and two corpus gland. Secretion of these glands are called semen and are mixed with the spermatosa in the duct system. These secretions provide nutrients for the sperm and are required to keep the sperm alive. They also provide the fluid medium for the movement of sperms. Human sperms are minute, microscopic and motile. They have an oval head piece, a neck, a middle piece and long end piece or tail. Head piece consists of a large haploid nucleus. In addition to this, a sac like structure called acrosome is present in head piece which helps in fertilization. The neck is short. The middle piece has several mitochondria which produce energy required for the movement of sperms. Tail piece help in the swimming of sperms to reach the ovum during fertilization. Sperms live for a period of 24 to 72 hours in the female reproductive system and afterwards they die and degenerate.